Hey y'all, I'm Dawn and welcome to Designs by Gaddis. If you love farmhouse decor on a budget, be sure to subscribe. Today, I have a few more high-end farmhouse decor DIYs just for you. Now for the first DIY. For this cute little tier tray sign, I used this wooden ornament from Dollar Tree and removed the twine from the top. I then painted it with folk art cherry wine stencil paste. I used the paste because I loved the color. The paste is thicker than paint, but it still worked great. I used my Cricut and cut out this cut file from Design Bundles and applied it to the sign. And of course, my camera stopped. After I finished, I realized I had ran out of space. Sorry, but I get so involved with my projects, I don't look up at the camera. It turned out so stinking cute. And the red looks amazing. I found these Dollar Tree chalkboard hearts in my stash and knew I had to use them for some Valentine's decor. I started out painting them with folk art oatmeal chalk paint and then, of course, like always, changed my mind. I found this cute scrapbook paper and loved the color. I laid the hearts on top and traced around them. Then I cut the hearts out very carefully. I wanted to make sure the paper fit on top of the hearts perfectly. To attach the paper to the hearts, I used a glue stick and pressed them down after the getting them lined up on the heart. I only applied the scrapbook paper to the front of the hearts, but it could be added to the backs also. I cut a piece of white cotton string to the length I wanted and strung four beads onto it. I also tied a knot at one end of the string. To hold the beads in place, I put a small dab of hot glue inside of each bead. I then placed the heart under the string, found where I wanted it, and hot glued it in place. And guys, please excuse my voice. I'm not sick. I don't know why I'm losing my voice. I worked my way down the string doing this. Originally, I was going to use four hearts, but decided to go with three instead. To cover the holes at the top of the hearts, I used silver push pins, which fit perfectly, and just glued them in place. I removed the chalk paste from this Tier Tray sign I made in a previous video and painted over it with folk art oatmeal chalk paint. I hot glued the extra scrapbook heart to the center and replaced the original frame and hot glued the back on. I used a pair of wire cutters and cut the back of a silver push pin and hot glued it over the hole in the top of the heart. And just look at how stinking sweet. Sometimes a project can be so simple and turn out so sweet. I found this scrap piece of wood that was cut like a little house. I painted it with folk art oatmeal chalk paint. I 
After the paint dried, I applied a layer of surface wax to the house. I had this reusable stencil I made and thought the heart would look so stinking cute on the house. I applied the stencil to the house and used folk art design cream in wicker white on the first heart. I removed the stencil and dried the heart with my heat gun. I repositioned the stencil again on the house and used folk art design cream in cherry wine for this heart. I removed the stencil and wow, I love the way it turned out. I have to say, Folk Art Cherry Wine Design Cream is one of my favorite colors now. This is a simple DIY that only takes minutes and turned out so stinking cute. I painted this little piece of wood from Dollar Tree with Waverly White chalk paint. Used a ruler and a black sharpie to draw the folds of an envelope. I used more of the scrapbook paper and Mod Podged another wooden heart. I found this heart in my stash, so I'm not sure if it's from Dollar Tree or not. Once the Mod Podge had dried a little, I used an emery board to remove the excess paper from the heart. And then added another layer of Mod Podge over the top. Once everything was dry, I glued the heart onto the center of the envelope. And just look at how cute the envelope is on this tea air tray. I painted this little sign I had used for a previous project with folk art castle chalk paint. and Mod Podge more of the scrapbook paper onto another wooden heart. Once everything was dry, I glued the heart onto the sign. And used my Cricut to cut out the word love in a tan vinyl. And just like that, I have this adorable Valentine's piece for a tea air tray. I think everything on this tray turned out so great. What will you do to create it for yourself? Let me know in the comments. Oh, and one more thing before you go. I am so excited to be offering the new monthly craft kits in my shop. You'll be able to order pre-cut kits, which you can design to fit your decor. If you're a crafty person and want to create some amazing things for your home, be sure to check out the link in the description for more details. And if you sign up for the subscription today, you'll get $5 off the January file shown here. Please take a second to like this video and leave me a comment. This really helps my channel to grow so others, just like yourself, can find me. If you just found me, I hope you will join our little family by hitting the subscribe button. If you are already part of the family, thank you so much for your love and support. Y'all are the absolute best. 
Check out my new Amazon store for craft supply and farmhouse home decor recommendations. All the products I use from Amazon in my videos can be found there. Until next time, happy crafting!